Hi everyone, this is Jenny Garcia with a December daily video and this is my December daily of 2019. I haven't finished it. So I was very inspired by the hashtag of done by December that Ali Edwards and her team are doing. So this week my daughters started school and my youngest setup is in my craft room so I decided that I'm gonna have everything set up and while I listen to her and make sure that she's okay, I'm gonna work a little bit on my December daily and it worked out pretty well. I film this video and another one that you will probably see soon. So hopefully I finish my December daily and I get to do a few more videos. So uh, this one, the left side is already done and it was a spread of the gingerbread uh, house activity that we did at, her, at their school. And on the right, I just have a package that Tombo sent me and a little illustration by Foul Language. I don't know if you follow them. He's really funny. And I am using those little squares. I'm going to do three with uh, principles from In the Creative Bubble. And the other three are going to be sequin mixes that I already mixed. And I will have the card right here on the right that way you can click it if you haven't seen it and I love in a creative bubble uh, die cuts and printables and I'm obsessed with them so I was very happy to be able to use them on this spread and I'm just using the two by two squares and I have a lot of them so I'm trying to figure out which ones go best with the photo I have from the uh, Marvel subscription box that I get the one in December was holiday theme so I thought it was perfect to put on my December daily I already I also kept the card that comes with the box which is the one on the left and that is a flip pocket so you will see what I'm gonna do with the flip pocket I'm just gonna put some washi tape and remove the sticky part, use, uh, punch some holes and just leave it like that. That way you can see both sides. Now that I decided which squares I'm gonna use, which printables, I'm going to fill up the, the rest of the pockets with the sequin mix I created. And to put them inside of the pocket, I'm gonna use this bead scooper and I got this idea from Serena B. I'm gonna have the Beat Scooper link below and everything that I can. Uh, they are affiliate links, you don't have to use them, but they do help and I really appreciate those of you who have used it. So I have a few different sequin mixes. I have this one that has the traditional colors. It has red, it has green, and I added a few more trees. I think I got those from Target and I haven't been to Target but I do know they have uh, Halloween sequins and I can't wait to go. I'm like, do I need more sequins? No, but they're gonna miss me if I don't get them. So yeah, so those are the traditional colors and the two in the bottom are gonna be just white, red. It's my candy corn mix with a little bit of clear sequins. And I'm kind of sad. I had these candy cane sequins that I got from, I think I got them from Marshalls so many years ago and they were from American Crafts and I ran out of those and I'm kind of bummed. But I did use for both sequins some uh, peppermint candies that I got from AliExpress. They're polymer clay and they were so perfect for the sequin mixes. And also in the video of the sequin mixes, you will see what else I use in them. And as you, as you can see, I'm using to fuse. That is one of the covers of a happy planner. I was gonna throw it away because I was done with the planner and I just put all my extras in uh in the planner that i'm gonna use and i was like maybe i can use this for uh 
my fuse and it worked out perfectly so another cheap solution if you don't want to get the glass mat and my daughter's teacher they he had an elf and sometimes the elf would use his computer and send some messages so I took a screenshot of those messages that Twinkle sent and added them to my album and then the photo on the right is my elf we got some sweater ornaments from Target and then she thought that they would look great on them and they did so kudos to Charlotte and her great sense of fashion and stealing ornaments so in that little box which by the way I got from Dollar Tree and it's awesome it also has a little cover but since these um, die cuts are bigger I didn't use the 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 cap no it's not called the cap yeah the thing that goes on top to close it so uh, yeah that's from Dollar Tree and it's just a dollar and it's pretty awesome so that's how I was dividing my in a creative bubble die cuts and I have these stamps they are from last year's uh, feed your craft kits and I love the feed your craft kits and I can't wait to see what they do for the holidays because I do love the fact that they also send a digital file that way if you really like one card you don't have to be like okay I use this once and then I'm done and at least last year they also sent the digital stamps and I was able to do uh, pattern papers with them and that was really fun and you can switch the colors and if you go to my Instagram you can see in my videos in my IGTV videos I showed really quickly how I did it but yeah I can't wait to see what they make this year and that is the second part I love the little Santa I just love the colors and everything and since I like to change the colors then I have a bunch of different options so I'm gonna use this washi tape I can't remember where I got this washi tape but it's one of my favorites for the holidays so I just removed the sticky film from the flip pocket and I just cover it with washi and that way I can just punch it oh and by the way I got the we are memory keepers hole punch and I don't know what I was waiting for it cuts like butter I have like an I had an old cheap one that did the job but whenever I wanted to uh, cut page protectors or anything too thick it was kind of hard and I saw a video of Ellie Edwards with this whole punch and I was like they're so good I don't know why I waited so long so if you being on the fence about getting one you should get one so this is the photo of the holiday description box I got and it's also a great if you do like things with the elf or or a gift it's a great little gift to do I freaking love subscription boxes especially this one it was Marvel and it had like four and it had the infinity infinity gauntlet but it was like stitch it was so pretty so I am using my everyday explorers stamps to stamp onto a tag and just add a little extra detail and I got these little hearts I have no idea where I got them I think I got them at, from eBay because Inky Quill had these hearts they were really cool and she said I got them on eBay and I was looking for those and I couldn't find them but I did find those and I was like I think I'm just gonna take those and I love this half circles that came in the feed your bubble oh, feed your bubble really <laughs> feed your craft uh, 
holiday kid. Okay, the reason I got confused is because that kid was the sign, but in a in a creative bubble, and I also love her stuff. Like if she makes the kit for this year, I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm gonna order it automatically. And on the marble box, I put a seven, and that seven is from a sticker pack of Citrus Twist kits. So a few of these stamps are new, so uh, to remove that layer of plastic that they have at the beginning, I use a Tombow Mono Eraser to remove it and get used to seeing the Studio Calico Poppy Ink from Color Theory. It's my favorite one and it's going to be my BFF throughout this project. And they stamp really good on photos. So I'm not gonna do anything to the collage photos of my daughters. They're already so busy. They have um, 16 photos and they're all in crazy colors and holiday things. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm not even gonna add a sticker, which was hard for me because I, I over embellish, I can't help myself. So I was, I had no idea what to do with this these photos I was struggling so much and I was like well I'm gonna see what I saved in my December daily um, folder on Instagram and I found these uh, I think it was a spread by Tashiana Gordon and she had like a bunch of t tags and I thought about doing something on the background but I was like, yeah, that's not going to work. But what if I take the photo and I turn it into a tag? So I, I really love how it turned out. It was a very simple solution and I might repeat it because I took way too many photos last year. It's That's not normal. <laughs> so many photos. And I also took a bunch of big photos like the collage of holidays and... Well, you haven't seen it, but in the next video, you're going to see one with ornaments. And I went overboard, but they look so pretty. So what I did is I just glued the photos together. I punched the holes with my new BFF. And now I'm just going to add a circle that I probably from, yes, it's from in a creative bubble. So I'm going to put a circle on top of the tag. And I'm gonna double it that way it's like double-sided and then I decided that it, it needed a little bit more so I got this pom-poms and I've had these for a while and I just figured that between the photos I was gonna add the pom-poms and it turned out really cute for this I recommend using the Tombow mono multi liquid glue it's the best adhesive for this kind of material. And I'm just gonna cut the excess. I did have to pull it and it kind of like stretch a little bit but it still looked really good. And I freaking love pom-pom but it's something that I have to watch because my album is already quite chunky. So I don't want to add a bunch of texture and things and then I'm gonna have to sit on the album in order to close it and I bought these for my daughter their whole uh, enforce enfor uh, how do you call that whole uh, enforcers and their uh, donut shape and I thought that they would look really cute on this tag and these photos and those stickers that I'm moving right now are from Pe Pebbles. Yes, they are from Pebbles. Which reminds me that last year I went to Tuesday morning and they have so many cool things. But I'm, at first I said that I wasn't going to buy anything, which we all know it's a lie. And I'm going to buy something and we just should accept that and move on with our lives. Uh, because I do have a lot, but I don't want to go out right now. And I'm also using these stickers that are from American Greeti Greetings and I got them from Target. They were really cute. They were sweaters and coffee cups and cute things and hats. 
I think that's where this video ends. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you come back and stay tuned for the rest of the pages and wish me luck on this whole December daily thing. And hopefully I do have it done by December. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.